Hey, Impact and everybody that has stuck around to tune in for this Impact devotional. Uh, it's PB here. Thank you guys so much for being here. I trust that the Lord has already ministered to you through the service and uh, we pray that he would do just the same in this moment. Before I get to what I wanna share, I wanna remind all of our Impact students, fifth through 12th grade, to make sure to join us throughout the week. We have devotionals that we do Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday at 1 p.m. on Instagram Live. And so far, we've been having services outside, drive-in live services at 7 p.m. So we hope to see you in person on Wednesday as well. Uh, please make sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook so that you can stay up to date with all that we have going on. Uh, without any further ado, I wanted to talk to you guys about the next event on, Gal on God's calendar as it relates to us, and that is the rapture. Uh, rapture is a word that you will not find in the Bible because it's a Latin word that means to be caught up. But the word caught up is in a passage of scripture that I wanna share with you. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13, before I actually read the verses, I wanted to give you a little bit of context. Uh, this is the Apostle Paul. He's writing to the church at Thessalonica, and this church was experiencing immense persecutions, uh, difficulties. Um, they had been, like, had seen many of their family members pass away at, at the hands of persecution, and he wanted to comfort them. He wanted to offer them hope but also give them a vision for what the Lord has in store for the future. So pay close attention to what he says in these few verses. In uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13, he says, And now, dear brothers and sisters, we want you to know what will happen to the believers who have died, so you will not grieve like people who have no hope. I recognize even as I read this, and I may have all sorts of people that might be watching right now. I wanna say I'm sorry for the people that you've possibly lost uh, during this um, pandemic, um, whether it's uh, a parent or an uncle, an aunt, a family member, a child. I wanna say how sorry we are at Faith Church and we mourn with you, but we also rejoice in the fact that if they were believers that you will see them again and that they are in heaven. But listen to what this says in verse 14. It says, for since we believe that Jesus died and was raised to life again, we also believe that when Jesus returns, watch this, God will bring back with him believers who have died. I love that scripture because if you couple it with 2 Corinthians chapter 5, Paul speaks to the church at Corinth and he tells them to be absent in the body is to be present with the Lord. So if a believer was to die, their spirit and their soul would go to heaven, though their body would remain in the grave. But what's powerful as we're about to read in these next verses is that when Jesus comes back to receive his bride or when he comes back to get his bride in the air, not the second coming of Christ, but the rapture, he is going to bring with him those believers who have died in Christ. Their spirit and their soul will be reunited with their bodies and it will be transformed to be incorruptible. I don't have time to go into detail, but if you look at 1 Corinthians chapter 15, towards the end of that chapter, Paul begins to unpack what that resurrected body will look like and how this whole process will come about. But listen to what he says in verse 15. We tell you this directly from the Lord. We who are still living when the Lord returns will not meet him ahead of those who have died. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a commanding shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet call of God. First, the believers who have died will rise from their graves. Then together with them, we who are still alive and remain on the earth will be caught up, rapture, caught up rapture there it is right there not the word rapture but the word the words caught up which the latin word for that is rapture will be caught up in the clouds to meet the lord in the air then we will be with the lord forever so encourage each other with these words you know it's amazing to me and it's powerful the one thought that paul wanted to resonate 
with these believers who were struggling with the loss of losing loved ones was the fact that they would see them again, that they were in heaven, their spirit and their soul was in heaven, and that they were with the Lord. And they would be reunited with them in the future with the Lord as well, as long as they remain faithful. And so I encourage you, if anyone that's watching this right now, if you've lost a loved one, and I've, and I've really felt led to share this a lot with our young people because what invariably ends up happening when somebody is gone, there's a lot of questions that can arise. Why did this person leave at this time? Why is it that they were taken by these means? And sometimes it can cause us uh, for our faith to be rattled. And you know what? God can deal with some of the questions, some of the difficulties that we're going through. But this is what I want to leave you with. You will see them again as you remain faithful unto the Lord. You will see them again. But one of the ways that you will miss seeing them is if you choose to walk away from the Lord, which is something that they would not want because they're cheering you on and have a confident expectation that you will be with them based on your faith and trust in Jesus. And so if you have never given your life to the Lord Jesus, as Romans 10, 9 tells us, confess him as Lord. Believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead and the Bible says that you will be saved. We love you guys and we wanna help you grow in your relationship with God. And by the way, be available to answer any questions that you may have and pray with you as you go through this difficult time. Be blessed.